Hey everyone, we are so excited to be launching our new series called The 5 Minute Breakdown, where we'll be breaking down key issues and events affecting Assyrians in less than 5 minutes. Today I'll be talking about the upcoming elections for Assyrian representatives in Iraq and how the seats reserved for Assyrians are likely to be stolen by majority groups whose agendas are harmful to Assyrians. Let's set the clock. All right. Federal elections are scheduled to be held across Iraq in less than a week on October 10th. These elections will decide the 329 members of the Iraqi parliament, formally called the Council of Representatives, who will in turn elect the Iraqi president and prime minister. Five seats in the parliament are reserved for Christians. It should be noted that Assyrians who comprise the overwhelming majority of Christians in Iraq have long expressed frustration over the classification of their allocated seats on the basis of their faith as opposed to representation as an indigenous and distinct ethnic people. Regardless, the institution of a minority quota is aimed at achieving equal or more balanced access to political power. However, the minority quota system that was intended to ensure the representation of minoritized groups at the highest levels of Iraq's government has been exploited and has become another part of the machinery repressing Assyrians and depriving them of equality among their fellow citizens in Iraq. Here's why. For more than a decade, a loophole in the Iraqi electoral law has left the voting process for the selection of Christian MPs who will fill the seats reserved by the quotas open to non-Christian voters, enabling powerful non-Christian or non-Assyrian parties to exploit the quota system. In other words, ballots permit non-Christian citizens to vote for Christian candidates, meaning non-Assyrians are able to determine the special representation of the Assyrians. Given the smaller electorate involved, considering the population of Assyrians in Iraq today is less than 200,000, elections for Christian members of parliament are contested by majority parties as part of a calculated strategy to win additional seats with less votes required while simultaneously creating the illusion of support for their agenda from Assyrians. This destructive practice involves the methodical mobilization of tens of thousands of non-Christian voters, ultimately overriding the Assyrian vote and disrupting the democratic process. In order to win seats in the general election, majority parties must mobilize hundreds of thousands of voters. However, with only tens of thousands of Assyrians voting for their representation, that win number is much lower. And this is why Assyrians often say that their seats are cheaper to win. This negative trend has been detrimental to the interests of Assyrians from the establishment of the quota system in 2010, resulting in unaccountable representation. This enduring exploitation of the minority quota system has thus widened the gap between the Assyrians and their political representatives. In the most recent elections held in 2018, four of the five seats were won by candidates backed by the Kurdistan Democratic Party or the KDP and the Iranian-aligned Shia Arab Badr organization. These elections were seen to lack legitimacy and those four representatives are perceived by many as partisan tools serving the interests of the dominant parties that back them rather than those of the Assyrian people. And while the 2021 elections are ostensibly competitive with 34 candidates contesting the seats reserved for Christians, in actuality the competition is primarily between the KDP and the Badr organization, two dominant political and military forces in Iraq that have both committed extensive human rights abuses against Assyrians. Both the KDP and Badr have established and continue to finance alternative Christian political parties to compete with undermine and challenge the authority of established and authentic groups. These artificial entities or proxy parties, such as the Hammurabi Coalition, the Chaldean Syriac Assyrian Popular Council, or the Babylon Movement, are used as Christian fronts by the KDP and Badr, enabling them to compete for these seats and achieve electoral victories over authentic Assyrian parties. And with competition and deliberate interference from majority parties amid ongoing population drain, Assyrians have struggled to secure legitimate representation for years. The recent elections proved that the dwindling number of Assyrians in Iraq simply cannot compete with dominant Arab and Kurdish entities intent on co-opting minority quota seats to advance their own agendas. These factors have consistently undermined the integrity of the electoral process and the legitimacy and accountability of Assyrian representation in Iraq is diminished as a result. The government of Iraq has failed to take sufficient steps to protect minorities' right to representation. 
Repeated attempts to advance measures to protect the integrity and purpose of the quota system have been unsuccessful, including in regards to proposals for separate ballots, special elections, or separate electoral rolls clearly defining that only members of these minority groups are entitled to vote for their candidates. The absence of laws to protect the spirit and purpose of the Christian quota system has therefore resulted in the near complete elimination of independent Assyrian political representation in Iraq. There are five registered Christian political coalitions for the upcoming elections. Of these, only a single coalition, the Assyrian Democratic Movement, is contesting the elections without endorsement or funding from ruling parties. Another independent Assyrian party, Abna al-Nahrin, announced a boycott of the elections earlier this year due to continued interference from majority parties. The systemic failings evident in these elections and the low levels of voter participation among Assyrians in Iraq show the need for fundamental reform. Such reform requires principled political leadership committed to the rights of Assyrians and other minoritized groups in order to make elections more inclusive and those elected more representative of minority population. I know I've gone over the five minutes, but this was an important issue. We'll definitely beat the clock next time. For more information and updates on the October 10th elections, please visit assyrianpolicy.org and follow us on all platforms at Assyrian Policy.